Hello fellow art buddies. This week I'm here with a bonus video. That's really exciting. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll just tell you a little bit about this as I draw it. So I did a draft Zentangle a while back ago and I got a text from my, one of my best friends and she said, oh my goodness, if you could draw a zebra Zentangle, I would really love that because it's her favorite animal basically. And so I was like, yeah, I'll do that. And so coincidentally, a lot of you guys requested a zebra Zentangle and a wolf Zentangle, which I'll probably end up doing in the future, just so you know. But anyway, I drew this for her and I recorded it for you guys. Um, I will say this, I recorded this before I upgraded my lighting, which was probably, okay, I upgraded my lighting in early September, so I filmed this like probably in August. I have like so many videos saved up that I want to show you guys and I'm running out of memory on my external hard drive. So I kind of need to just like upload a couple bonus videos here and there to clear up some space because my inspiration keeps like exploding and I keep filling my hard drive. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. Um, for this one, it was almost kind of difficult to come up with patterns for each little stripe, I guess, because there are so many stripes. And, you know, you kind of get to a point where you don't want to repeat patterns. But at the same time, you know, you don't want to make it so convoluted that the point doesn't come across that this is a zebra and it has stripes. So for the whites of the zebra, I just kind of did stipples and, um, well, yeah, stippling takes a long time. So I didn't do like a super thick kind of stipple. I just did it lightly so you could just get the point that the texture was there. And then for the fur, oh dear, if you look closely at that thing, like each hair is like an outlined little thing and that was actually the funnest part I'm not gonna lie as far as my favorite pattern goes I like um, kind of like swirly things but okay I don't know how to describe it it's kind of like a scale flower petal kind of thing okay I'm actually going off of a comment that somebody left in one of my videos trying to describe the pattern that I'm trying to describe because I'm pretty sure it's the same thing but it's kind of like a flower with a bunch of little lines going inward and that's what I just drew. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, I'm just rambling on. Okay, so let me know if you do want more Zentangles on my channel because I know I do have an owl Zentangle, a giraffe Zentangle, this zebra Zentangle, and this like abstract watercolor Zentangle on my channel so far. And I don't want to like keep on doing these things if you guys don't like them. I think they're stress relieving and you know if you need a way to relieve stress hey man <laughs> try Zentangle yeah but anyway just let me know what you think and yeah there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff coming up on my channel soon so stay tuned some of the things I will let you know right now well okay I'm gonna do the three marker challenge because that's been requested and I'm dying to do it and I'm gonna do an art studio tour sometime I'll get to it <laughs> you know yeah have a good day and click any of these videos if you want to keep on watching things. Woo! Alright, see you in the next video. Bye!